Yo, 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 guys, what's good? And welcome back to Fruit Battlegrounds. And first and foremost, let me just say, and let me apologize for the lack of content on the channel so far, only because Roblox is really, really boring right now. Like, the games that were supposed to come out haven't come out yet. They got delayed, so I may have to record that. So I apologize for that. But I made it up for you guys. Today, I got the Max Tory showcase for you guys today yes sir the max level tory showcase for you guys so if you don't know the tory fruit is the newest fruit and the newest update that just came out about a couple days ago and basically everybody's been hyped for this fruit such as dragon that's gonna come out soon and so today i just got this fruit for y'all max levels to show you if you want this fruit or not to show you the damage and the possibility of combos and everything above and beyond with it and also i also going to teach you guys how to get Sorrow the dashing move. Yes, this is really good and hopefully everybody say everybody in the game will need this ability. But first, let's get to the showcase. So Tori, unfortunately, is not a mythical fruit anymore. It's supposed to be, but now it's a legendary, it's the rarest legendary to get. It's a 0.2% chance to get, I believe, from spins. I literally I would recommend you guys not spend for it because I literally wasted 60k gems. I wasted 60k gems trying to get this thing, but I didn't get it. But I got it on my second boss kill, so everything worked out. But yeah, but let's get to the showcase. Alright, so, Tori, the legendary fruit showcase, the max level, we have four moves at the bottom. I see three, uh, yeah, four moves at the bottom and, f and one move that says transformation. So, the first move is, I am not pronouncing that. Y'all can go ahead and try that yourself. I'm not pronouncing that. Then we have Talent Slam, Phoenix Inferno, Blue Bird, and then Transformation. Okay, the first move is the, basically you can use this move to get away from a fight or to do some serious damage. And this is what it is. And as y'all see, that did 72 damage. The first move at 250. That's actually really, really good damage for the first move of Tori. So we do it again, as you can see. Do a little dash. Whoop, there we go. Now, if you hold, it's a, it's a very, it's a quick cooldown too. But if you, if you hold it down, it really does do nothing. But you also just, like I said, use it for ev uh, evasions. Boop, like that. Get out of the fight. And then use your sword to like try to make yourself go invisible high as ride a tree or something. Never, let me reset these dudes real quick. Boom. Alright, boom. And as you can see, and three hits with this move, you do over 200 damage easily. Now, the second move is Talon Slam. Now, Talon Slam... You can't really aim it. It's more like once you once you click somewhere, that's where your character will go. And so you hit the ground either way. It's no charge up for this. It's like a quick click and hit move. So, boop, boom. As you can see, the aim is kind of kind of weird on it. But as we okay, nice. Thank you, tree. Thank you, tree. Thank you, tree. Thank you, tree. I love it. Like you see, that did around sixty something damage. Ooh. Yeah, get out of there. Yeah, so we did 63 damage off this move. Pretty good for decent, decent uh, damage. For Whoa, what the heck? Where'd he go? Okay, let's, let's, what the heck just happened? Yeah, so he just shot in the air. But you see that the 63 damage. That's yeah, pretty decent, uh, pretty decent, yeah, we did pretty decent damage, but it's easily dodgeable. Uh, as you can see, if somebody sees you do that, all you gotta do is you soar and get away from it. Like, it's not that hard. Next move is Inferno, uh, Phoenix Inferno, and basically this is like our uh, the Gummo Barrage. They they really didn't do much with the uh, effects with this move. They kind of like uh, reuse, but it's just like Gummo Barrage, but like quicker. So this is it. Uh, <laughs> my server is lagging. Okay, um, let's reset him. Had him reset too. Now let's redo that again. There we go. As you can see, it's like you got the barrage effects and then you got a little kick. So that did 84 damage. That is actually, uh, that's actually, no, 94 damage. I am tripping. 94 damage. That is crazy damage for this move. But it is a close range move. Does the, oh, never mind. It got some pretty good range on it too. So that's actually not bad. So Tori does have high, very high damage skills for its, um, first few moves now i'll be honest this fourth move right here kind of kind of kind of not expecting well not expected well i wasn't expecting it to do this much damage so it's not that strong as you shoot a blast 
It does 49.5 damage. It doesn't do that much damage. The cooldown is it's kind of a quite a little too long cooldown, but it's kind of quick at the same time. But it does uh 49.5 damage. Charging up doesn't do anything either. So if you do have this fruit, charging up does nothing. As Jeff, I show you right now. Yeah, see, 49.5 damage. It doesn't do a lot of damage. So it stays the same. It does the damage, and if you do hold it and don't hold it and do hold it. All right. So look, we got some pretty decent good moves at the start of the, the non-Phoenix transformation. Pretty good damage, pretty good, a pretty good range. Now, the transformation. If you don't know what transformation is, click off my video right now. How you don't know what transformation is? Come on now. Alright, so look, this is transformation. Your bar has to be 100% before you do this, and you can char charge the transformation in a uh, fight. Now, this is a beautiful transformation. Her name is Screenshot. This, this is beautiful. The Phoenix model looks very, very clean and nice. But on to moves before my transformation bar goes out. So the first move, so explanatory, is like the same one, but bigger AoE, and more damage. So let's redo that again because I didn't even get to see the damage. So we got 200 health with this person. Now he has Okay, yeah, so 101 damage. He lost 101 damage from that. And it's very quick cooldown. Boom, very cool quick cooldown. Now the second move is like you can use it as a flight. If someone's trying to run away or you want to run away, you can use it for a flight. So this move does have a, a runaway move. Or if you hit somebody, boom, 9 damage. Kick them in the dome and hit 9 damage on them. Now, next move, Phoenix Inferno. Now, Phoenix Inferno, I love this move right here. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh my goodness. It's like the Gora, uh, the Gora's move. But it's way, way cooler. I would say way cooler. Uh, let's reset these people so I can uh, show you how the damage on that. Alright, so let's get this move. Kebab bar is going down. I see he has 200 health. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Did I kill him? I killed him. No way, I, no, no way that it's over 200 damage. Hold on, let's do it again. Hurry up, my bar is going down. That does over 200 damage. Wow. Okay, wait. No. It does 155 damage. Okay. But his last move real quick. My bar goes out. So that does... I missed a 12.4. So that would do around... What? 60 damage? Around 60 damage. Yeah. So that this, the last move does around 60 damage. The third move, I believe, does 155 damage. So... Crazy, crazy, crazy stats on this fruit. Now, the bar does run out quick, but if you're in a fight, it does go up kind of quick too. So, it does balance it out. But this fruit is crazy. It's spammable. High damage. Is it on, for my opinion, it is on top tier as Magu. I can't say for sure because Magu does insane damage still. So, we have to see. But they are doing some nerfs and some balance changes soon. So, do keep that in mind. So, be in the Discord to check what they nerf and what they balance change. And their the fruits in this game, so they might nerf Magu, they might nerf Goro, no, no, they might nerf Phoenix, or they might buff Phoenix, so we don't know. So depending on what, what they do, we have to see. But yeah, guys, that's a Phoenix showcase for you guys. Now on to showing you guys how to get Soru. All right, so first thing we want to do is, uh, if you're ever where I am at, you can easily follow uh follow where I'm at. So everybody should know where Marco spawns at. He spawns on that big tree all the way over there. So that's where we're gonna head head to first. All right, guys. So once you pass the spawn area right here by the in front of the Marco tree, you want to just come around, and hop on this hill right here, and you see this uh, rock pillar right here. It looks like a, a upside down T. Looks like an upside down T. That's what it looks like. Okay, look for the upside down T rock. And what you want to do is you want to use an a big AOE move or some type of AOE move that can actually break this block. As you see, that breaks the block. Oh, give me a second, guys. Give me a second. All right. So, all right. So after you break that block, you'll be able to walk inside, and you see this dude up on here. He's gonna go up up here. And since I have it, he probably gonna say something different. 
Yeah, here we go. And he told you about the book I found and said, alright. So you talk to him and he's gonna tell you to find a book. Now I'm gonna take you guys straight to where the book location is. Alright, so you wanna head out past the rock and go straight past the Colosseum. Alright, so once you get in front of the Colosseum, you see the statue, you want to just keep heading like this way the statue to the water right here. And then once you hit this water spot, you will notice that there will be a book right here in this spot right here. There it is. And here's the book. And you just get the book, and once you get the book, you learn Sorrow. And it's literally, that's it guys, and you learn Sorrow. But now, let's get straight to public servers to test out this fruit against actual players. I see y'all then. Uh, um, yeah, never mind, guys. Uh, so I joined, I joined some servers, and uh, let's just say the the servers are pretty dry. It's just people just farming balls, and that's it. Once they find the balls, they leave. It's really nobody fi fighting each other no more. It's just grind gems, fight, grind balls, and leave the server. So the game has kind of gone downhill. It's like like a concert for the game right now. So unfortunately, I can't provide a good PvP video for you guys anymore. Right at the end of this game right now. But hopefully they change some stuff around. Because like I said. There's people just AFK farming. Or farming the balls. And just leaving the server. And finding new balls to spawn. But uh. It's been your boy Nox. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Found something new. Learned something new. Want the Phoenix fruit. Like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.